Hello and welcome to the complete beginner's guide to iBooks author brought to you by tableau.com.au. We make it easy to publish iBooks textbooks from anywhere in the world. So in today's guide, we're going to have a look at setting up your book's layout, using hotspots and contents pages, using basic widgets and how to set up glossaries as well. So let's get to it. We're going to start by opening up iBooks Author and selecting a template. Now you do only get six templates with iBooks Author, but they're great starting points. And in later tutorials, we're going to show you how to fully customize these as well. First up, we're going to have a look at hotspots. Hotspots are like live text fields. They automatically control your book's contents page and make navigating super easy. We're going to jump over to the book's title page to check it out. When you select part of the book's title, you'll notice a blue box appears around the text. This indicates a hotspot. I'm just going to change the title of our book to Learning Photography to show you the effect that it has. And there we go. You'll see now that because we've changed this live text field, the book's official title over on the book icon has automatically updated. The same applies for chapters and sections as well. So if we jump over to chapter one and rename that, say, Camera Features, you'll see that the chapter's title has updated in the icon as well. Let's try something slightly different for section one. Let's rename that in the icon to Aperture, and you'll see just like that, the heading on the page changes too. If you triple click on one of these hotspots, you're also able to select what this section shows. The real purpose of these hotspots will soon become very clear. I'm just going to jump through and add a few other sections to fill out the content and then jump over to the table of contents. And just there you'll see that the table of contents has automatically been filled with our chapter name and all the different sections. Navigation is ready to go. With iBooks Author, you can control your book's design for both landscape and portrait mode. You can easily toggle between the two modes right here on the toolbar. The portrait mode is inherently very simple and consists of a long stream of scrollable text. There are a few design limitations to be aware of with this portrait mode. The top section of portrait is open to design modifications like text boxes, images or shapes. If I try to drag a shape below this blue line though and into the text portion of the design, then it disappears. This section is text only and in many ways it's undesignable. The hotspots in portrait and landscape mode are pretty well linked together. So if I change the text color here to red, then you'll see that on the landscape mode it's changed to red as well. This can make custom designs quite tricky. I'll show you what I mean. I'll just whip up a quick new design here with a new background image and some custom typography. And you'll see that when I jump back into landscape mode, the text, because it's linked, has kind of screwed up the design. Typically, iBooks Author requires a uniform design for both portrait and landscape mode. But I'm now going to show you a quick and simple way to create custom designs on each section. All you need to do is jump back to the portrait mode and then delete that hot text. You'll see that even though we have deleted it, the section's name on the left hand side of the book still remains. So this does not damage your book's navigation. But now that we've deleted this linked section, we're free to add our own text box and recreate our custom styles. When we jump back to landscape, all that we need to do once again is add a new text box and add our styles once again. By deleting these default linked sections and adding our own text boxes, we're able to create custom and independent designs for both the portrait and the landscape pages. I'm just going to now hit Command Z and undo all of that. Many authors only want to design their book for the landscape orientation. If this sounds like you, then there's one checkbox that you'll absolutely love. If you head over to the Inspector and click Document all the way on the left hand side, then right down the bottom is a button that says Disable Portrait Orientation. If you select this, then your reader will only be able to view your book in landscape. iBooks Author comes equipped with seven really powerful widgets that enhance the interactive nature of your book. We're going to take a quick look through some of the basic ones. The Gallery widget allows us to display and interactively scroll through a number of photos. To add these photos, all we need to do is drag them onto the gallery widget. Readers can then scroll through the photos via the buttons or the arrows at the bottom, or flick through them like in the normal photo app. 
It is possible to modify the layout and the dimensions of this widget to suit your design or even to create a full page interactive gallery. The interactive image widget is a really powerful way to annotate an image or a diagram. After adding it to your page, to set it up, simply drag an image onto the top of the widget. You can then drag both the labels and the anchor point to suit any errors you wish to annotate. When you click the label, the window will zoom right into that section on the widget. You can use the panel at the bottom of the widget to adjust the level of zoom. Then, drag the image to the right position using your cursor. Once you've set your labels and finalised the image's position, click Set View and then whenever you tap that label on your iPad, the widget will zoom straight in and show the layout you've specified. iBooks Author allows you to set up glossaries that enable your reader to access thorough definitions by simply tapping a word. A glossary like this can transform the way a reader uses your book. To get started, click the Glossary tab on the left hand side. Use the plus and minus buttons to add and remove words. Then simply enter your word and your word's definition. Once that's done, head back to your page. I'm just going to add some filler text here with the word aperture in it. And then under the view button, click to show the glossary toolbar. Then you can simply highlight the word aperture and then up in the toolbar, select the word aperture and click add link. Now, whenever any reader taps the word Aperture, which will appear in bold, they will see the definition for Aperture. In iBooks Author as well, you can now click on a defined word and be taken straight to the glossary for that definition. With this glossary toolbar open, you can now highlight any new terms such as Depth of Field, and then up the top click Add Term. This will create a new section for that term, and we can go ahead and add a definition. Photographers among us will know that aperture and depth of field are very much related terms. iBooks Author allows us to link these words together. In the glossary section, simply click on one term, drag and drop it onto the related term sections of another word, and then whenever your reader views the definition of aperture, right at the bottom will be a link to depth of field. With a detailed interactive glossary, you can make your iBook truly feel like a 21st century textbook. And that is how you get started with iBooks Author. This tutorial was brought to you by Tableau. For more tutorials, premium templates, or if you're ready to share your iBook with the world, head over to tableau.com.au. We make iBooks publishing super easy from anywhere in the world.